I'm an emergency medicine resident physician at Oklahoma State Medical Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So for doctors to really be able to help patients meet where they're at and being able to help them kind of understand situations, give them the best options, and empower them to what steps they can take moving forward, that's what we do. We had a patient in the hospital that was short of breath. He really needed to keep his mask on for BiPAP to be able to breathe and not have to be intubated again. So rather than force him to put the mask on his face, we instead sat down and talked for a long period of time. He was able to be calm and be able to see that if he can make it through this one period of time and be uncomfortable, he's able to see his family tomorrow. Medicine isn't built on one person. It's not built on a couple of people. It's built on a system. When we think of the return on investment that comes from investing in our future providers, what that looks like, what that process is, and what the pipeline and infrastructure is, it's really powerful. So Black Men in White Coats was born out of a simple principle to be able to increase the number of black males in medicine. So there is a shortage, and as we look into data specifically in medicine, being able to make sure that there's diversity, and not only in terms of who's in the white coat, but diversity of thought, is gonna change patient outcomes. How do we get an individual not only to a fellowship, in residency, as to become a physician in a specific area, but also how do we get people back in academics? This is a detailed conversation, and it requires all hands on deck. And this is the role that we have here in Oklahoma.